the dwarf planet Pluto is one of the most fascinating celestial bodies in our neighborhood. In this exploration, we'll present real images of Pluto and provide extensive background information and important facts about this former planet. If you enjoy our content, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and stay tuned for future videos. Pluto, the former planet, held its status as a planet for many years and was considered an integral part of our planetary system. However, this classification changed in 2006 when the professional community revised its definition of what constitutes a planet. As a result, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. Like many other celestial bodies, Pluto was named after a figure from Roman mythology, the deity Pluto, who was the ruler of the underworld. The first space probe to visit the dwarf planet was New Horizons. This NASA spacecraft approached Pluto within a distance of 12,500 kilometers during its mission, which was launched on January 19, 2006. New Horizons gathered significant information about Pluto, and the images it captured showcased the dwarf planet's galactic beauty. The discovery and naming of Pluto have an intriguing history. Pluto's existence was confirmed on February 18, 1930, although scientists had suspected its presence for much longer. It took about 25 years for experts to substantiate their thesis with facts. By comparing numerous photographs of the sky, astronomers at the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, finally proved the existence of Pluto. As the first to discover the celestial body, the Lowell Observatory team had the privilege of naming it. The name Pluto was suggested by an 11-year-old girl named Venetia Burney, whose proposal impressed the experts, leading them to make it official. Pluto, a dwarf planet far from the Sun, has an equatorial diameter of 2,374 kilometers, making it significantly smaller than Earth's moon, which has a diameter of about 3,474 kilometers. Pluto resides in the Kuiper Belt, a remote region within our solar system home to an estimated 70,000 galactic objects. Pluto is the oldest known celestial body in the Kuiper Belt. While Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun, Pluto takes an astounding 248 years to complete one orbit. A day on Pluto lasts 153 hours, much longer than an Earth day, which is 24 hours. The spatial distance between Pluto and the Sun, approximately 6 billion kilometers, influences the climate on Pluto. Due to this great distance, Pluto's surface temperature never exceeds minus 218 degrees Celsius. From Pluto's perspective, the Sun appears as a small star rather than a large, clearly defined disk in the sky. Pluto's position also makes it difficult to observe from Earth without technical aids. Despite this, Pluto is the brightest known object in the Kuiper belt. Before discovering other similar celestial bodies, researchers believed Pluto might have been a moon of Neptune. Today, we understand that Pluto likely formed alongside the Kuiper belt from remnants that emerged during the formation of the outer planetary system. Pluto's surface and moons offer more insights into this intriguing dwarf planet. Pluto is a solid celestial body composed mainly of rock and water ice. With a surface area of about 17.6 million square kilometers, it's roughly the size of the South American continent. Although it was once thought that Pluto was a moon of Neptune, we now know that Pluto has at least five natural satellites, with Charon being the largest. Years passed before the first spacecraft reached Pluto. The NASA probe New Horizons was the first to closely examine Pluto. New Horizons is part of NASA's larger New Frontiers program, a significant project aimed at exploring our solar system in greater detail. The New Horizons mission provided unprecedented close-up images and data about Pluto and its moons. The mission revealed that Pluto's surface is varied and complex, featuring mountains, plains, and valleys. One of the most striking features is the heart-shaped region known as Tombaugh Regio, named after Clyde Tombaugh, who discovered Pluto. This region contains vast plains of nitrogen ice and towering mountains made of water ice. Charon, Pluto's largest moon, also presents an interesting landscape. The moon has a canyon system for times as long as the Grand Canyon and a series of surface features that suggest a history of geological activity. Charon's interaction with Pluto creates a dynamic system where both bodies are tidally locked, always showing the same face to each other. The New Horizons mission didn't just focus on Pluto and Charon. 
It also provided valuable data on Pluto's smaller moons, STYX, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. These moons are irregularly shaped and vary in size, with unique rotational characteristics and surface features. Pluto's atmosphere, primarily composed of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, extends far into space, forming a thin but significant layer around the dwarf planet. Observations from New Horizons have shown that Pluto's atmosphere undergoes changes, expanding and contracting as it orbits the Sun. The mission's success was due in large part to the meticulous planning and execution by NASA's team. They carefully plotted the spacecraft's trajectory to ensure it would pass close enough to Pluto to gather detailed data without risking a collision. The data collected continues to provide insights into not only Pluto but also the broader dynamics of the Kuiper Belt and the early history of our solar system. Pluto remains one of the most captivating objects in our solar system, despite its reclassification as a dwarf planet. The New Horizons mission has significantly advanced our understanding of this distant world, revealing its complex geology, dynamic atmosphere, and intriguing moons. As we continue to analyze the data from New Horizons, we anticipate more exciting discoveries that will deepen our knowledge of the outer reaches of our solar system. The exploration of our solar system with unmanned aerial vehicles has reached a significant milestone with the New Horizons mission, which was the first probe ever to approach the dwarf planet Pluto. This mission's goals were crucial, as the NASA space probe was tasked with closely examining Pluto's geological features and its moon Charon. Moreover, mapping the surface of the dwarf planet and investigating its atmosphere were also key objectives. When New Horizons launched from Earth on January 19, 2006, Pluto was still classified as a planet. It wasn't until August of the same year that Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet, making the mission's insights even more invaluable. On April 15, 2015, NASA released the first detailed photo of Pluto and its moon Charon, marking the beginning of a series of images that would significantly enhance our understanding of these celestial bodies. The high-resolution images provided by New Horizons allowed scientists to map Pluto and its largest moon extensively, offering critical information about their climates and surface characteristics. One of the most remarkable discoveries was that Pluto does not have a steady atmosphere. Instead, its atmosphere forms when Pluto is close enough to the Sun for the ice on its surface to melt, creating a thin layer primarily composed of nitrogen. When Pluto moves away from the Sun, this atmosphere freezes again. Among the stunning images captured by New Horizons was a heart-shaped feature on Pluto's surface, identified as a massive glacier composed largely of frozen nitrogen. This glacier was so significant that it altered Pluto's axis of rotation over time, due to the combined effects of its mass and tidal forces exerted by Charon. New Horizons discovered numerous other glacier on Pluto, making it one of the few celestial bodies in our solar system where glacier have been confirmed. Some measurements even suggest the presence of a vast ocean of liquid water beneath Pluto's icy surface, concealed under a layer about 4 kilometers thick. The images from New Horizons also revealed that Pluto's surface is dotted with craters, canyons, and mountains, with the tallest peaks reaching heights of approximately 3.5 kilometers, similar to the Rocky Mountains in North America. Experts speculate that Pluto once experienced significant volcanic activity. Unlike the boiling hot lava eruptions on Earth, Pluto's volcanoes likely spewed ice-cold water, which then froze on the surface. This icy volcanism has played a crucial role in shaping Pluto's landscape. Charon, Pluto's largest moon, also surprised scientists with its unusual geological features. Like Pluto, Charon appears to have undergone ice-cold volcanic eruptions that contributed to its surface development. Additionally, Pluto's smaller moons, NYX and Hydra, exhibited strong reflective properties, suggesting that the water ice on these satellites is exceptionally pure. The New Horizons mission continues to push the boundaries of space exploration. Although the spacecraft has long since passed Pluto, its journey is far from over. New Horizons is now traveling toward the outermost regions of our planetary system, aiming to explore previously uncharted territories. This ongoing mission promises to uncover more mysteries of our solar system, providing invaluable data for scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Reflecting on the mission's achievements, it's clear that New Horizons has significantly advanced our knowledge of Pluto and its moons.
the detailed images and data collected have unveiled a world of complex geology and dynamic atmospheric processes. The heart-shaped glacier, the towering mountains, and the potential subsurface ocean all contribute to the fascinating story of Pluto. These findings have reshaped our understanding of the dwarf planet, highlighting its unique characteristics and its role within the Kuiper belt. Pluto's reclassification in 2006 was a pivotal moment in astronomy, sparking debates and discussions within the scientific community. The New Horizons mission has provided a wealth of information that supports this decision, demonstrating that Pluto, despite its smaller size, is a dynamic and intriguing celestial body worthy of detailed study. The mission's success underscores the importance of continuous exploration and the value of technological advancements in uncovering the secrets of our universe. The future of space exploration looks promising, with New Horizons paving the way for more missions to the outer regions of our solar system. The data gathered from this mission will continue to be analyzed, offering insights into not only Pluto and its moons, but also the broader dynamics of the Kuiper belt and the formation of the solar system. As we await further discoveries, the legacy of New Horizons will undoubtedly inspire future generations of scientists and explorers. We hope you enjoyed our journey to Pluto and found this exploration as exciting as we did. If you have any suggestions, thoughts, or questions about our video, please feel free to share your opinions in the comments. Your feedback is invaluable as we continue to bring you more fascinating insights into the wonders of space. See you soon!